Good day everyone, my name is Glenn Engineering P. Oliver and I'm going to show you what I prefer if I were to build my own PC. So the first one is the tower case. So I choose Corsair 4000D Airflow. So it is ATX mid tower, tinted tempered glass, zero external 5.25 inches base, two internal 3.5 inches base, easy slide on and slide off panel. So its price is around 5,766 5, pesos according to my source and the reason why I chose this is because it is a unique high airflow optimized mid tower ATX case with simple cable management and two included Corsair 120mm air guide fans for superior cooling. So the next one is the motherboard. So I choose Asus ROG Strix X570E. So it is already PCIe 4.0, Wi-Fi 6, 16 power stages, SATA 6 gigabytes per second, USB 3.2 Gen 2 Aura Sync, RGB lighting. So it is it cost 14,850 pesos. So uh, the reason why I chose this is because the CPU that I chose can take the full advantage of what the X570 platform offers though the CPU may not be the most powerful processor around. So for the hard drive, uh, I chose Samsung 980 Pro. So it has 2TB, 2048 MB cache, M.2 2280, SSD, M.2 PCIe 4.0 X4. And it costs around 8,732 8, pesos. And the reason why I chose this is because it is proven by many that it is an excellent performer and worth the money. For the network extension adapter, I chose PCIe 1X to key A to E adapter card. So it has Bluetooth, PCI, suitable for key A or key A to E, compatible with multiple operating system support system. So it costs 1,177 pesos. And the reason why I chose this is because this pin has good contact performance, ensuring stable working, and it is also worth for its price. So for the CPU, I chose AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. So it has 8 cores, 16 threads, 3.7 GHz performance core clock, 4.6 GHz performance boost clock, and SMT supported, and the TDP is 105 watts so it costs 7593 pesos so i chose this because the amd ryzen 7 5800x runs much smoother despite the fact that it is a gaming computer rather than a workstation making it an excellent mainstream cpu in general so for the gpu i chose msi geforce rtx 3060 ventus 2x 12g so it has 3584 cores, 1777 MHz boost clock, 12 gig memory, core clock 1320 MHz, PCI Express Gen 4. So it costs 20,319 pesos. Um, I chose this because it is powered by Nvidia's new ray tracing technology and will support powerful rendering of your designs, especially for those using CAD software. So for the power supply, I chose Corsair RM850X version 2021. So it has max power of 850 watts, noise cybernetics A, 25 to 30 decibel amperes, cybernetics efficiency of 115 volts, gold 87 to 89%, 80 plus efficiency gold. So it cost 8,183 pesos. So the reason why I chose this is because it outperforms its predecessor in terms of overall performance due to its superior ripple suppression, tighter load regulation, and higher efficiency, particularly at low loads. So for the RAM, I chose Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 32GB. So it has SPD latency of 15-15-15-36, SPD speed of 2133MHz, SPD voltage of 1.2 volts, single zone or multi zone lighting, dynamic multi zone, speed rating of PC4 24 
25600 of 3200 MHz. So it costs 4470 pesos. And I will buy two pieces of RAM if I were to buy one. And the reason why I chose this is because it is one of the best performers and it is an excellent component to have in your system. So for the heatsink, I choose Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. So it has 4 heat pipes, aluminum fins, direct contact, fan airflow 59 CFM max, fan air pressure 2.1 mm H2O, fan noise level 8 to 30 decibel amperes, and air cooler. So it costs 1,800 pesos. And the reason why I chose this is because not only does it offer better installation and great performance, it is also one of the best air cooling solutions and many people are using this. For the other devices, so the first one is the monitor. I chose ASUS TUF Gaming VG27AQ. So it is already 27 inches. It has one MS response time, 2560 times 1440 resolution, IPS panel type, 165Hz refresh rate, and 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So it cost 17,024 pesos. So I chose this is because it is overall an excellent 165Hz IPS monitor from ASUS and many people prefer this monitor. So for the mouse, I chose Razer Viper Mini. So it has sensitivity of 8,500 CPI, polling rate 1,000Hz, cable length of 6.5 feet, weight of 0.13 pounds and it costs 1,200 pesos. I chose this because it is the mouse that I found really comfortable to use. So for the keyboard, I chose Royal Clutch RK61. So it has RK61 software for RGB version only, keycap material is ABS, cable length rubber detachable USB type C, weight of 561 grams, and it costs 1,780 pesos. I chose this because it is solid, flexible, and inexpensive entry into keyboard customization that also works well with a wide variety of devices right out of the box. So for the headset, I chose Razer Hammerhead Pro V2. It has stereo, connectivity 3.5mm analog, frequency response of 20Hz to 20kHz, input power of 5 megawatts, and it costs 1,795 pesos. I chose this since I really like the quality and it is really comfortable for me. And for the camera, I chose A4 Tech PK910H Webcam HD. So it has max resolution of 720p at 30fps, camera megapixel of 0.9, built-in mic is mono, mic range up to 1 meter, and the price is 7,593 pesos and I chose this since it is affordable for its quality. So the total cost of the parts is 94,304 pesos. So for me, it's already worth it since um, the, qual the parts are already high quality and not only me but many people also prefer these parts. And that is it for my video. Hope you enjoyed listening. Thank you. God bless.